Hello everyone, how are you doing? Welcome to another episode of Wisdom Moments on K24 with me, CJ Temo the Sage. I hope that you have been all right and everything around you is getting better and better in this part. The second half of the year 2021, we've gone through different seasons and each day we come here just to give you something to work with, something to walk with and something to work out so i'm going to begin teaching about something else and or just rather dropping on you something else and that is living the balanced life the balanced life you know we talk about this sometimes you know we talk about it all the times with our friends and colleagues and with our families and sometimes if especially if you were so exerted out over there in your career people will be saying look you need a balance because some of us are spending most of our time in our vocation some of us are spending most of our time in school in class pursuing money or pursuing dreams and there are other things that we are not doing so people will keep on talking about you know balance the definition the simple working definition that i will have for balance is having all elements in the right place and the right proportion having all elements in the right place and right proportion there's no human being that just does one thing we all are different things to different people you are an employee to your boss you're a boss to your employee you're a father to your children or a mother to your children you are a husband or a wife to your spouse you are a relative to the people who are around you so different people define you differently in different environments as well you become different things to different people and to different things as well even just to yourself if you are not very careful then you may find yourself especially because of the focus on things like passion and profits and the things that we desire you may find yourself spending more time doing one thing and neglecting the other we talk about, you know, go for what you love. We talk about go for what you're passionate about. We talk about your gift. There are people who will tell us, you know, in life, find the one thing that you love and stick to it. But the truth is you can't just do one thing. That one thing must find its expression in the balance of all the other things. So, for example, you love playing football or you love singing or you love doing business. But remember, whatever you are doing is not isolated from you, neither are you isolated from other people. You still have to relate with other people as well. It's important for you to understand that as a human being, you are in compartments. You are a person who has a body, you've got a mind, you've got emotions, you've got intellect, you've got a will. And yes, you have a spirit as well. So it is important for you then to place all of these elements in their rightful place and in the right proportion. That means that if you are going to live a balanced life, then you must balance between who you are spiritually and who you are emotionally and mentally, intellectually, who you are physically and even who you are financially. Generally, in life, we pursue the things that we think we need the most and you see the, the the problem with being deprived in certain aspects of life is that we focus on them so much so we always go into the extreme for example if you have grown up in a humble uh, background I, well, I was not going to use that word poor but if, if you've grown up in a place where you are short of resources you may think that's the only thing that you need for life and so you will put all your energy in just trying to acquire resources because we normally think that the thing that is missing is all that we need but if you bring that thing or if you get that particular thing that seems to be missing and then you lose the other things that you had you will still not have balance so for example if you go out to get money or to get work or to get business then you lose your family you still don't have balance if you then decide well i never had a stable family and i want to have a family i never grew up in a stable family so i want to have a stable family but you never go out to work and you never do anything else you still don't have a balance each of these things complement each other each of these things have a way of holding each other up because you need relationships as much as you need the money and you need the money just as much as you need the relationships all of them must find their expression and they must find their place so in trying to see where this balance then comes in you're going to have to ask yourself what is the most important 
of all of the things that I pursue. What's the most important? Once you are clear about what is most important, you will easily then draw priorities for them and create the priorities for them. It will be easy for you to determine where you need to spend the most of your time, where you need to spend the most of your energy, where you need to put in a bit of effort. It will also be good for you because then you will look at the areas of deficiency that you have and you will know that you need to remedy those deficiencies. See, when we were growing up, we would uh, have, you know, if a child did not perform well, and that still happened a bit uh, until the near past, but if a child didn't perform very well in certain areas, then they would have remedial tuition so that they can have that particular subject come up as well. Because if you have two A's and then you have three E's, on average, you will not have performed very well. You would rather have all B's than have two A's and have all the rest of them as E or a D. All that that is talking about is balance. Like you're not supposed to be overtly good with one thing and then very weak with another because eventually the very weak one will pull down the high ones. So the areas in your life that you're neglecting, the areas in your life that you are not putting in strength or energy, you're not putting in mind, you're not putting in might, you're not putting in effort, those areas in your life are going to pull down the areas that you're working hard at. So if you're not good with people, it will pull down every other achievement that you have. If you're not good um, in taking care of yourself, it will pull down everything that you're building. Because if you don't take care of yourself, somewhere along the line, you may have an emotional breakdown, you may have a mental breakdown, you may even have a physical breakdown. And there are people who get there. So as much as you're doing well in other areas, you may not be doing very well because there is no balance. If all I have is money, when my physical body breaks down, I will spend that money to take care of that physical body. Again, it's the principle of the E cancelling the A because the E will bring the A down to a level of C. So it's important for you to raise every area of your life. If you have a career, work at your career. But then remember, you also have relationships around you. It may be your family, it may be your friends, it may be your parents or your siblings. You need to work at that as well. If you're somebody who is spiritual, you need to build that as well, working on your spiritual relationship. In fact, it is said that the people who have a sense of spirituality have a greater sense of being normal when it comes to wellness, when it comes to their mental health, when it comes to emotional stability, the people who have a sense of spirituality do have that. But then again, you see, you've got to work on your emotional wellness as well. You cannot ignore your emotions. You cannot ignore your mind. You cannot ignore to rest. You cannot ignore to take care of yourself. Well, I hope that you have received something that you can run with today and we get back on it again tomorrow as we talk about living a balanced life because ladies and gentlemen, the greatest success you will ever have is to find balance. It's not just to be strong in one area or to do very well in something and do poorly in all the rest of them. If you can find balance and grow everything nearly at equal levels, then you can greatly say that you have succeeded. Well, this has been me right here on Wisdom Moments on K24 with CJ Atemo. Till the next time, keep it right here.